Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more data analysis video and today I'm gonna show you how can we design a background to use in our dashboard, so check it out! Guys, here you already seen my PowerPoint screen. So first of all, we have just to move in one step back because I have to show you this dashboard. This is a picture that, that I've collected from Dribble website. If you don't know how to use Dribble, how to collect this kind of picture uh, to use as a guide for you to design your dashboard, just move to our YouTube channel, DR Digital Transformation, and then you will see this two playlists over here. Uh, as you can see, one is called Power BI for Beginners, the other one Tableau for Beginners. Doesn't matter which one you choose, just move to the playlist and you will see these two videos. Clues about design dashboards using Dribble, and the other one it's about to uh, collect and use good icons in your data projects, all right? So check these two videos before continue in this one that I'm going to show you, okay? So this will be my my guide, okay? So I will just look at to this one in order to create a new one in this slide, okay? First of all, we have just to create the background of the background, right? So as you can see the dashboard, uh, Behind the dashboard, I can see the gray color, right? So I'm just gonna to introduce some square over here in this slide. And how can we do that? We just move it to this section, insert, uh, then shapes, then just choose one. In this case, the rectangle. And then you can just put it in your PowerPoint, in your slide, okay? And then you have just to create the color okay of this one as we can see here the color will be actually guys i'm gonna put it the white color and then i will introduce this gray one this gray area okay so first of all the background of my dashboard i'm gonna put it the color white so i will just move in right over here in this shape view option then white color and then there is another option about the outline, right? So the outline here, as you can see, is already blue. And I'm going to put it um, light gray, this one, okay? I'm using these uh, grid lines because it's better in order to align, uh, to align my my shapes, my formats, my pictures, everything that I will just introduce in this background. So I recommend you to use the guidelines, all right? To just include this guideline, just move into this, to this part, design. No, not design, uh, the view, view one, view section, and then grid lines, this one, okay? Just click once. If your flag is on, you will see if you out, the flag you will not see, all right? Just clicking on grid lines in order to see, the, then moving back to the home. Now I'm gonna introduce this gray area over here. So to do that, I just want to introduce a new rectangle. Now I'm gonna put it this rectangle over here and connect it with all my other shape. Okay, and then I will just colorful this one as light gray and without outline, no outline, all right? Now, as you can see, I have the background and I have the gray area. Uh, I recommend you guys, when you just introduce more than one element, just uh, hold the shift key and then uh, select the two elements or more than right button of your mouse and put it this group, group and group in order to create a group of these elements. All right. So let's moving back to the guide and you can see here, there is a space to introduce the logo of your brand. In my case, I'm going to introduce the image. I have the image in my computer already. Just let me search here to my image. 
then enter. Okay, this is the image. I will just copy and paste in my slide. And you will see this is my logo. Just resize it and then move it here uh, using the gr grid lines in order to align properly. Okay, that's perfect. Before I continue, I will just hold the shift button, shift key and group again with the other elements. Okay, that's perfect. Now it's time to design the menu. As you can see guys, we have these icons in the menu, right? So I recommend you to move to free icons in order to find these icons. I showed you before the, the videos in our YouTube channel, but, but, if you don't want to use another website in order to get the icons, you can just move in this part, insert and then put it icon. These icon options, you will see a lot of icons. And for example, I will just write dashboard and I can see some icons over here. I will select this first one and click on insert. As you can see, I have this icon already here. I will just resize it and also I can just uh, change the color of the icon. It's really easy. I can use this graphic fill and then I can select some colors of my brand. I already have the colors over here, but if you don't have and you want to use some color that you can find in another element in your, in your slide, it's easy just to get that specific color using this eyedropper. Just click once on eyedropper and then you can just move around your slide and you will see the color. For example, I have, I want to use this one. I will just click and now I can see my icon with this color. All right. So it's easier to color and to create the colors in PowerPoint when you use the eye, uh, eyedropper option. All right, then the text. I'm going to just introduce the text. OK, insert text box. Just select this area of my dashboard and then I will just write this one will be the dashboard. OK, then you can just select all the words uh, going to this part over here, this bar over here and change for the font that more connected with your brand. In my case will be Unisense. Unisense book is the font. And then I will just resize it for 12, if 12, for example. Yes, that's perfect. And I want to use this font with the same color as my, uh, of my icon. So I just select the font and then click in this A symbol over here and I can just uh, select this color that I have already used it in this recent colors option. Okay, now I have the dashboard, right? If you want to introduce more icons, you can just move into the insert icons and then the other icons and continue your design, right? I'm here just show you the first steps to design. Now it's time just to create this uh, blank areas in order to prepare our background to receive the graphics, the graphics, the charts, right? In order to receive the charts after you introduce this background in your self BI platform. So in this case, I'm going to change a little bit. I will just insert another shape, but instead use this rectangle option, this fourth rectangle option, I will just move in right twice and I will see the rectangle rounded corners. This one I want to use it. Then I will just put it one here. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one. And when you want just to keep the borders a, li uh, a little bit less rounded, you can just hold and move this uh, yellow circle over here. Okay. I will just click once and then that's it. This is perfect. Then just 
change the color, no shape, no outlines. Okay, this is the first one. I will just be careful that I've used the same uh, size, the same space between the border and the beginning of my element. So in this case, I can count. So here we have, I just zoom it. Okay, guys, using this part of the PowerPoint, this right down over here. One, two, three, four over here. One, two, three. Oh, not four here less than four okay just move it a little bit down okay four here four here perfect align it all right so i will just create more space over here then copy and paste and introduce the second one over here uh, when you just move it you will see that powerpoint already uh, create some connection between and calculate the gap between these two elements and uh, the down the bottom part of your element and the border okay as you can see here i have the perfect size over here the perfect gap between both both sides so i will just drop it then one more copy and paste and align with this one counting one, two, three, four over here. And then holding this left side, I can just move it. And I will see, okay, this is the perfect gap between these two and this part. Then copy and paste one more and drop it over here, okay? All the four elements are perfect aligned. So now it's time just to select all the elements to group okay in order to save this picture to use as background in our uh, bi self bi platforms such as power bi or tableau okay how can we select it all just hold the key ctrl and then a and you it's like ctrl all and you will see all elements uh, selected then right button of the mouse the mice in one of the elements and then group group okay now it's all grouped okay then you have just to copy this group then click outside to unselect the element then click with the right button of your mouse mice and then paste paste this uh of this element that you already copied as picture using this symbol over here and you will see the element already uh, pasted but as a picture then right button in this picture that you already pasted and choose the option save as picture okay save as picture move into your computer and then save as background for example i will use the name background okay then click on save uh, there is already one uh, picture with the same name i will just replace it in my case if you don't have it just save as the first time i will put it yes and now i have the picture here in my computer let's see background okay it's over here i will show you guys okay this is my picture this is my background now i can use it on tableau or on power bi but i will show you how to do it in the future videos right so for today that's all guys if you like it don't forget to subscribe in our youtube channel don't forget to thumbs up and please share the content with more of your your of your friends because we have to increase we want to increase our youtube community as much as possible and i count on you to do it okay so that's all for today and see you in the next video bye